Welcome back to the Gun Channel. Jessica and I spent a weekend at the 2021 Fire Expo. The Fire Expo is an annual event that is kind of like the SHOT Show. Uh, it has tons of vendors, outdoor shooting capabilities to test the stuff, and the difference is this is actually open to the public. Our production company, Evoke Studio, was hired to shoot a few videos for some of the vendors. Over the next few weeks, I will release a few videos about this event, sharing my experiences with a few awesome companies we ran into. Tons of stuff out there from optics, pistols, custom AR-15s, stuff like that. Top of the line barrels, nine line was out there, gosh, so many. Today's video will be my first experience shooting a staccato pistol. And stick around at the end, I covered a half a dozen other people shooting their pistol for the first time on a little sizzle reel. So let's jump in. My name is Mike and this is my first time ever shooting a staccato. And I don't know if you've, who, who are you again? In case somebody's just woke up. Well, just in case somebody's looking at you, look on YouTube, look up Todd Jarrett. I'm a four time world champion, 16 time national champion. Uh, I won't tell you how many times I was second over the years, but I work for Staccato and we build some of the finest uh, shooting pistols in the world. Um, and they're all made to Austin, uh, just north of Austin, Texas, and Georgetown. Uh, we got some great employees, great guys who build some awesome guns. Are you ready to shoot some guns? I am. All right. Okay. First don't, shot. Don't think about don't think about the trigger. Just think about your front sight. Awesome. Nice. You're a liar. You're a great shot. All right. We're gonna double up. See. If nice. We're gonna triple up. I missed number two. There you go. One, two, three. Well, obviously you know how to handle a gun, so you're pretty good at that. But. As far as gun, far recoil goes, I noticed you had a nice, you know, triple tap there. So ding, ding, ding. So what does uh, that tell you? The thing is smooth, um, instant. As soon as I, I press the trigger, instant sending. The only thing I had trouble with was just the timing was a little different. It was a smooth recoiler. It's just a little bit of timing. So my second shot was a little off. Sure. So I just got to get used to the timing. Stand easy. I'm yep. going to get a P for you. This gun was way faster than me. It kind of reminds me of driving my first turbocharged Civic I ever built. I was driving it way faster than I could control the first time I took it out. I would absolutely love to get my hands on one of these and train into its speed. Anyway, back to the video. Okay. This is our flagship gun right here. Okay. Uh, our guys in law enforcement, military, government agencies, have been using this now for a couple of years. Like a Glock 19 it's size a Glock five? 17. It's a same Glock 17. Size Glock 17. Okay, so full size gun. It's our flagship. Something right in the middle kind yep. of gives you mm -hmm. this, both worlds on it. So you are hot and ready hot. to go, my friend. So all you can do is tell yourself. So can you press check? To press check, I'd have to take the safety off? Yep, you have to okay. take the safety off for that to go back. That's correct. Okay. So that locks everything up on it. Nothing's going to fire until those safety devices are in the downward position. So black. it's a blackout rear and a fiber optic up front? Yep. Nice. All right, here we go. Going hot. Alrighty. That one feels a little more familiar. A little high on the second one. I'll get into my stance here. First one's missing. Hold low. Aim three quarters high. So I need to slow down. Ah. So the key to that gun is, is that you're going to have uh, you're going to have a stronger spring in it because you've got a smaller mm -hmm. slide that has to operate back and forth. So, you know, with the reciprocating back and forth, you want to make sure of reliability. But if you pull the spring back and forth, you'll know it's nice and smooth and clean. feels like it's on rails. Oh, my uh, gosh. The thing about it is... I um, could just move this thing. Yep, all of them are like that. So, all the guns are out there that are pretty, pretty lightweight. So <sighs> Okay, so I have to have one. So, how much does this cost retailish? That particular gun right there uh, is about $2,000, okay? okay? Uh, so the P is our, our standard out there. You can get that with an optics um, set up on top of it. So you can put your favorite optics onto the gun if you like. Um, but the most important thing is, is that if you are looking to find reliability, the magazine itself is a 17 round magazine goes into yep. the gun. So you have an 18 round gun on top of that. So um, basically an inch and a half to two inch groups with the proper ammo and the right operator. And you might be the operator at 25 yards away. So the key thing what we're looking for here is um, we we want to have reliability, we want to have accuracy, we want our uh, customers to have a lot of fun, and that gives it to you with the DLC coating. It gives you the smooth, uh, clean effect, uh, keeps them scratching inside your holsters, anything. So it is a pretty cool little weapon. Can I ask you for one more favor before I let you move on sure. to the rest of your customers? Can you show me how to chamber just by using inertia? Sure, I can do that. 
so when it comes down to the to the XL, so our springs are set up in the gun. So if you insert the magazine, I can load the gun and put it in there. So that puts it in there. So we can John Wick it from time to time if we want to, because we used to make the Combat Master for the John Wick 2 movie. So if you didn't know that, that's a little secret about STI now staccato. We made the Combat Master for them. So that's the gun. Thanks, man. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. You got it, man. Thanks. These guns are really awesome. One of the finest pieces of machinery I've ever had in my hand. And Todd was awesome. Be sure and check him out on his uh, YouTube as well as his Facebook. He's got some great videos of him shooting and just being an overall badass. And don't go anywhere just yet. I've got a video of first time shooters of the staccato. a slight movement so pull about as much as about a dime's worth and you're going to feel a little bit of movement. perfect see how simple that was watch that fiber optic on the side and perfectly wow. done again okay. <laughs> oh, i actually give you two more you ready to go <laughs> okay that red side now. perfect you got it it's a lot of pressure but no it it felt good it felt good i can't believe i got them all you got them all i can't believe i got, got every them all. single one of them <laughs> Butter. <laughs> Just like that. Nice. It was perfect. It was yep. it was so really good. Smooth. Uh, it was great. Very smooth, soft, uh, and obviously, I mean, I, I hit them all, so it, you can tell that the gun is very accurate. There was like very little to no recoil at all. Uh, the other ones, you always, you know, you feel that pull back. So that was that was the biggest difference for me. Bill, that's always. good. Yeah, it's very, it's, very uh, smooth. Uh, no, it's a great experience. You're a good shot. You know, I, was gonna, I thought you could No, that's very part. pleasant gun. It's very easy. Half yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> Thank you. So smooth. I mean, from the ergonomics to the grip, everything. So smooth. I like that it's got the heavier feel in front end on it. It's got a lot less recoil, a lot less snap back, and it cycles a lot smoother. All right, we're gonna double up. See what nice. So, what uh, did I tell you? The thing is smooth, um, instant. As soon as I, I press the trigger, instant sending. All right. Okay. That was awesome. How you feel? Very, very good. Very recoil. good. Really uh, precise too. I'm surprised. Yeah, take the slack up and just watch it go off. There we go. Oh, wow. There's no recoil. Yeah. There's no recoil. Good. That's nice. What Thank you. you. It's really good. It's really smooth. I like it. I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And again, I'll be posting a few other videos from the Fire Expo 2021. My name is Mike. You're at the Gun Channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you soon.